least one method. Uh, this is an approximate method. Uh, this is very important also. So I will write this is very important for the examination. Now twist one method, uh, someone can ask me what is twist one method? Two vertical, one horizontal. So this is what we call the two vertical, one horizontal is the load dispersion. Now uh, the thing is, uh, we can able to calculate particle stress, this is just this is a footing, this is the footing, uh, Q is the intensity of loading, now I want to calculate vertical stress at any depth z, but the thing is uh, you need to consider, you need to assume uh, two vertical, one horizontal. So here you see what I would like to tell you, two vertical, one horizontal. This is the dispersion of the load. This is a, you, one can understand now, this is the dispersion of the load. Now uh, I want to calculate this is the width of the footing. This is the width of the footing. So I need to calculate vertical stress at any point P. Okay, uh, now uh, I can tell you, this is the dispersion. Now, uh, someone can ask me, what is this? This is width, width of the footing. Now, what about this? This will be z by 2. This will be z by 2. Now, uh, without any hesitation, we can tell you what is this? This is equal to v plus z. See, here it is two vertical, one horizontal. Now uh, z by 2, it becomes z by 2, your horizontal will become z by 2, okay. Now if it is z by 2, your vertical will be z, 2 times z by 2 will becomes z. Now you apply any mathematics, uh, now this is width. Now here you see, I want to calculate vertical stress. I want to calculate vertical stress, sigma z. That is our story. Our story is always calculating vertical stress. Now this will be load by dispersed area, load by dispersed area. So someone can ask me, sir, what is load by dispersed area? See here you see, I have a load, I have a load, but someone can ask me, it is intensity, it is in kilonewton per meter square, something, it is having equivalent units of stress. Now I want load. So now I will do one thing, Q into area of the footing into area of the footing. Now the dispersed area, if it is a square footing, if it is a square footing, footing is square, if it is a square footing, so dispersed area it will be b plus z into b plus z. So this is the equation I can use to calculate. Now someone can ask me what is area of the footing. Area of the footing is equal to b into b in case of square footing. Now, now you can see now, if it is a rectangular footing, that means uh, having some length in the other direction, here you see this is a dispersion of the load, the way the load is dispersing. Here you see the load is dispersing in a, with an angle of two vertical, one horizontal. Now my width at a depth z is become b plus z. Now in the other direction, you can see if it is a square footing, this is also width, here you see this is width, this one also width equal equal dimensions we can expect whereas in case of rectangular footing here it is width this is length now what i'm expecting from you you please tell me what is the formula for vertical stress in case of rectangular footing get ready now in case of rectangular footing having length and breadth so now i can write cap small q into l into b now divided by b plus z into now we have to tell if it is a if it is a circular footing what is sigma z q into can anyone help me now so b plus z into in the other direction in other direction what is there l now 
at a depth z what i can expect now what i can expect now l plus z now the answer is b plus z into l plus z so sometimes you can see circular footing 5 by 4 d square d is the diameter of the footing now 5 by 4 d plus z square see when if it is a circular footing so you can expect actually this is the first term of cone this is the low dispersion this is circular footing having diameter d here if it is a lower dispersion is again two vertical one horizontal so you can expect pi by 4 d plus z square so this pi by 4 is getting cancelled so people may see in books q into d square by d plus z square so now this is the equation we are using in case of circular foundation so before uh, we wrap up this today's class uh, i have to present you here you see if you have uh, rectangular footing having length 2 meter width 1 meter intensity is 150 kilo newton per meter square how to calculate vertical stress at 1 meter so let me write now sigma z is equal to q into b into l by can anyone help me now b plus z into l plus z now uh, how to calculate sigma z now sigma z is equal to what is q value 150 into 150 into width is given 1 meter uh, length is given 2 meter now what is the vertical depth uh, from, at what depth I need to calculate the vertical stress at 1 meter now uh, b plus z 1 plus 1 into l plus z l plus z 2 plus 1 so I am getting answer now in kilo newton per meter square get ready so we are going to ask a different questions here you can see this is length this is absolutely width now it is rectangular footing rectangular footing so here it is you can see it is b once we are coming down at a depth of z this will be b plus z b, because it is z by 2 this will be z by 2 because i am taking two vertical one horizontal so now here you see actually uh, what is stress uh, load by dispersed area load by dispersed area here you see uh, once we are far away from the load uh, the dispersion of stress is going to be reduced so here you see the intensity of stress is going to be reduced that's why I'm we are considering two vertical one horizontal then it becomes z by two then it becomes z by two the whole uh, uh, width uh, at a depth z is now becomes b plus z in similarly if you see the other direction it becomes l plus z so let me tell you now if it is point load if it is directly given there is no need to multiply with the area of the footing if intensity of uh, footing pressure is given we have to multiply with area of the footing in case of rectangular footing uh, it is b into l if it is a square footing b into b uh, let me tell you once again uh, many times uh, even students are asking this question sir i found in book directly this formula how i, I will remember how I can understand this equation. I will help you here. You see, Q into area, pi by 4 is getting cancelled. So, these are the approximate methods to calculate vertical stress. Approximate method to calculate vertical stress at any depth z.